My name is Anna East and I play guitar in my iron lungs. And my name is Matthew and I sing, scream, and play guitar in my iron lungs. So far, kids have been really liking the new record. Like, we've played uh, the majority of those songs live now. And uh, we've got nothing but compliments from that, so that's been really cool. We always mix um, our set with our old record, Grief and Relief, so there's kind of a contrast between the two. So There's there's similarities in both. They're both personal records, so um, there's that. Uh, lyrically, there are there are ties, but it's not it's not completely linked. Like it's not like a a part A, part B by any means. It's it's just um, I guess when I started writing Grief, I already had the idea for writing a second part to it. Um, Grief is a very emotional and angsty like teenage record, and Relief is a little more like grown up and mature record. So um, there's there's those similarities and. Um, uh, differences between those two. Basically, um, relief is like basically grief. Grief went through all the the hardships and stuff as as growing up as a teenager and dealing with uh, divorce parents and alcoholism and stuff like that. And relief's more of like dealing with those problems and uh, in a mature way and, and just handling your own situation. So. Some of the best parts about traveling Europe or touring Europe is probably the traveling. So we get to every day for, even if it's just like 30 minutes walk around, like we got to go to, I went to the Camden markets right here and that was awesome. And then uh, we have some friends here that we met on a tour. They're, they were from the UK and they did a tour with us in the States and we haven't seen them in almost two years and we saw them in Bristol and that was awesome. So that's been some of the coolest things about touring here. Yeah, and then um, like the first day of tour in Germany, um, we played a show and after the show we, we were just talking with some kids and they just had mentioned that they've been waiting basically about two years now for us to come over there. So first day of tour to hear that was a huge highlight for us. Just just to hear that people care about our band and that flying over here wasn't a waste of time or anything like that. Not that I think it was at all, but it's, it's really welcoming to have people like care about your band enough to talk to you about it. So that was, that was a cool highlight. Um, it sounds funny, but like I lost my bag the first day of tour, which sounds like it sucks. But it's actually been really cool to have nothing on me, like literally nothing. Not a pair of socks or underwear or anything. I've been wearing other people's merch and stuff like that. And it's actually been really cool because um, I've just been focusing on you know, getting by and just like seeing stuff and not worried about keeping up on my cell phone or like changing clothes or what to wear or stuff like that. It's just been really, it's been an adventure to back, literally backpack through Europe with no clothes at all. So <laughs> that's a highlight, even though it sounds like it sucks. It's been actually really cool. So. Next six months will probably consist of, we have a tour, a North American tour in Canada with Silverstein, uh, Beartooth, and Hansley Major Houses and yep, Major League. And Major. Yeah, so we got that in January and February. And, and that's like a, that's an eight week tour. So, so that'll, that'll take up a lot of time. Yeah. Being away is kind of easy for me. It, like, it gets kind of stir crazy if I'm at home for too long. So it's like, being on the road is, is like being at home, like for most people. So I don't really mind it too much. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not too too bad. I mean, there are times when you're you know driving in the van, especially in America, because it's the drives are like eight, ten hours every single night. It's crazy. But um, there are times when you're just like, and it's like. You're in a van for 10 hours and you're just like, I'm crazy. Like this is crazy. But um, no, I think I think the best part of tour is getting to the venue and you see all the other bands you're on tour with and everyone's like familiar with each other. It feels like home. It's really nice. Yeah, after that tour, we get home around March 1st, and then we're taking March and April off to write a record. So it's really hard to say. I know I know both of us have have been talking and we want to experiment a little more. Um, we listen to such, like, we all listen to a lot of different music and we all listen to a lot of similar music. Like, they, there's really experimental music like the Mars Volta and Circus of Vive, Bright Eyes, to like, 
you know, bands like Code Orange Kids and Comeback Kid and Terror and stuff like that. So it's like, we kind of mix genres a lot, but we just like all types of music and we don't give a fuck about trying to fit into a certain type of genre at all. Like, I, like we're, we just don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I just want to play any type of music that comes to mind, so just lots of experimenting. Oh, yeah, we're all anticipating trying out new things for the record, I think that we're kind of in a mind frame where we feel comfortable to do whatever as were as before, you know, you're writing a record with kind of like an idea in mind. And not that we don't have ideas in mind, but I feel like the ideas are more, they're, they're loose, you know what I mean? They have no constraints on what we can do or limitations or anything like that, so that, that'll be exciting.